The Maui litigation is thankfully on a rocket docket. Uh, the fire happened on August the 8th of 2023. Uh, we have done the same thing. We've done the reconstruction. We've canvassed the area. We know exactly how the fire started, when it started. Uh, we know that Hawaii Electric uh, uh, started the original fire because of a pole that failed due to, in effect, termite damage. Um, and then to compound matters, that did not start the original fire, but it led to the collapse of a bunch of the uh, infrastructure, including high voltage lines. And some idiot within Hawaii Electric restarted the power that had been knocked out for three hours. That restarting provided the ignition that fueled, uh, you know, ignited the fuels, which was the buffalo grass that had not been properly maintained. So the ignition was caused by Hawaii Electric, the buffalo grass not being maintained in arid conditions owned by the largest landowner in the state, the Bishop Estate, the state of Hawaii owned land that wasn't properly created. So they provided the fuel that eventually uh, burned up a gully or a gulch uh, that created a river of fire right down into Lahaina and incinerated the entire town. All three of those defendants together with some others are responsible for what happened. Uh, we've spent six days in formal mediations, uh, one of the largest offices in Los Angeles, hundreds of people there lawyers all over the place, insurance adjusters and the like, um, and have been negotiating a proposed global settlement of the entire Maui fire litigation uh, with the governor of Hawaii's assistance in the hope that we can get the claims resolved within one year of the fire, which is record time. Uh, but we have a town to rebuild. The entire town of Lahaina has to be rebuilt because people are homeless on the island of Maui. And our very first objective is to give them the most money that we can but as quickly as we can so that they can restart the process of building an entire town.